example on this topic that first order and second order differentiation or derivative of the function y or fx so find the first two derivative that is find the first order derivative and second order derivative of fx or y y or fx at 1.1 so 1.1 is uh, the point uh, not given in the table this point is not in the table um, uh, this point 1.1 lies between 1.0 and 1.2 from the following table so we have to use the general formula because what is the uh, previous lecture first example that uh, find the first and second order derivative at the point uh, 3.0 that is 3 and the three point is at the beginning of the table and uh, uh, is a uh, is the present in the table so if the value uh, present in the table and at the beginning of the table then what are the formulas used to find the first order and second order derivative these are the formulas that dy by dx at x is equal to x not this formula and this formula uh, these are the formulae used to find the first and second order derivative if the value is given in the table and value is at the beginning of the table let us say these are the formulas that if the derivative at the point given in the table and at the beginning of the table but if the values are given given in the table and at the end of the table then use uh, these formulas to find the first order derivative and second order derivative but if the point is not given in the table and the point is at the beginning of the table then use uh, these formulas uh, that is dy by dx for the first order derivative and second order derivative and where this this notation u is what x minus x naught divided by h that is u so and if you have the find the derivative at the point not given in the table that is if you have to find the derivative of first order I suppose at second order but that point is not given in the table and point is at the end of the uh, tabular values then use these two formulas okay so now this problem number two uh, is depend on these formulas. That is the point is not given, but the point is at the beginning of the table, 1.1. So we have to go, uh, we have to use these formulas. Uh, we have used these formulas uh, for the example number two. So this is the example that find the value of uh, first order derivative and second order derivative at 1.1. 1.1 is at the beginning of the table, but not given in the table. So we have to use the formula, general formula uh, of first order derivative and general formula of second order derivative. And uh, for that, use uh, first prepare the forward difference table. So, so this is the forward difference table because uh, uh, if the value is at the beginning of the table, then we have to use the formula. Uh, involves delta delta square delta cube and that's why prepare the forward difference table first forward difference table if the value is at the end of the table then prepare the backward difference table and so the first here is the value is at the beginning of the table and so prepare the forward difference table this is the forward difference table so what is its first column the values of x the second column is the values of y then delta y, delta square y, delta q y, delta x to 4 y. If you observe the third column, then all the values are, uh, uh, that is not third column, but third, uh, third difference, delta cube column, this column, then all the values are what? Same. So no need to find further columns. So stop here, uh, because all the entries in the further columns uh, are uh, zero. So no need to find the delta h to 4y, delta h to 5y, all the entries are 0. And uh, this is the value of uh, x0, this is x0, that is the first value, this is uh, f of x0 or y0, this is y0, this is uh, delta y0, this is delta square y0, delta cube y0, and all the remaining are, that is delta h to 4y0, delta h to 5y0, all are 0. That is we have to write the formula for first order and second order. Uh, that includes third order difference. No need to write the further differences terms. So uh, the formula, this is the formula dy by dx. This is general formula. 1 by h delta y naught 2u minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square y naught 
plus 3u square minus 6u plus 2 by 3 factorial delta cube y naught. No need to write the further terms of this uh, formula because uh, uh, the further differences that is delta raised to 4, delta raised to 5 all are 0. And this is the formula uh, used to find the general derivative. That is the derivative at a point not given in the table. So this point 1.1 which is lies between the 1.0 and 1.2 and so use this formula. So we have to find the derivative first order derivative and second order derivative at 1.1 which is which is the between arguments 1.0 and 1.2 that is not given in the table and so use this general formula then find the value of u and all this so x that is we have to find the value at 1.1 so x is 1.1 h is 0.2 what is the common difference at 1.0 1.2 1.4 the common difference is what is 0.2 so the difference between uh, the distance between these two arguments is 0.2. Uh, so uh, h is 0.2 and x naught that is the first value of x is 1. So x naught is 1 or 1.0. And uh, then u is what? x minus x naught by h. That is x minus first point divided by common difference. And that is 1.1 minus 1.0 divided by 0.2. And that is 0.1 divided by 0.2 that is 0.5. So in the, if the point is given in the table, then no need to find the u because u is zero in that case. So if uh, the uh, point is given in the table at, at the beginning of the table or at the end of the table, then uh, no need to find this u because in the previous example, if we observe the previous example, then what is, this is the forward difference table and directly uh, the formula for uh, first order derivative at the first point is this and there is no u in this formula because u is zero and that's why no, no need to find u you just write h and h naught that is the first value and directly substitute all these values we get the first order derivative similarly we get the second order derivative but if the point is not given in the table the point 1.1 is not in the table it is in the range of the table it is in the range of the values of x and in this case write the general formula and find u in by using this formula that x minus x naught by h and it is what 0.5 then uh, putting all these values in the uh, this this formula that is dy by dx at x is equal to 1.1 is equal to 1 by h that is 0.2 in bracket delta y naught so what is delta y naught this is delta y naught 0.128 and this is delta square y naught this is delta cube y naught so substitute all these values of u and these delta y naught, delta square y naught, delta cube y naught and calculate uh, all these calculation by using calculator we get the answer 0 0.630. This is the first order derivative at x is equal to 1.1 and then second order derivative to find the second order derivative write the formula general formula d square y by dx square is 1 by s square delta square y naught this is the derivative of this this function so this is the delta square y naught and 6u minus 6 by 3 factorial delta cube y naught. So no need to write the further terms because all the differences of the fourth order and all the further differences are zero. And then substitute the value of h and this is the d square y by dx square at x is equal to 1.1. Substitute h square and all these values delta square y naught, delta cube y naught and u we get the answer 6.6. .6. So, so this is the example uh, at, uh, uh, the, of the first order derivative and second order derivative, the point is not given in the example. As the point of uh, uh, view of uh, examination, your final examination, as far as that exam concerned, these problems are not so important, but these are in the syllabus. Uh, that's why we have to cover these types of problems. Uh, these type problems are important. That is the point given in the table and it, at the beginning of the table or at the end of the table. But these problems are not so important as far as example, exam concern. So this is the example of the point not given in the table and we have to find the first order derivative and second order derivative. That is we have to use uh, these formulas. So these formulas. Okay, if the point is not given in the table and at the beginning of table, then use this formula. So the, by using this formula, 
we have the answer of the problem number two. And if the point is not given in the table and point is at the end of the table, then use uh, these two formulas to find first order derivative and second order derivative. So here the point in the example point two, uh, point is not given in the table at 1.1 1 .1 and is at the beginning of the table and therefore uh, we have used these formulas. Okay, then uh, next problem, uh, the third number problem. So find the first and second derivative of the function tabulated below at the point x is equal to 2.04. So 2.04 is given in the table. Uh, this is this is the value of the argument x, but it is at the end of the table, at, or it is last value of the x argument x. Therefore, uh, we use we have to use the uh, formula of backward difference table, backward uh, difference operator. That means we have to use this formula. That is the derivative at point given in the table. And at the end of the table, the so point is given in the table and is at the end of the table. So we have to use these two formulas to obtain the first order derivative and second order derivative at last point. Okay, so prepare the backward difference table. So what is the difference between backward difference table and forward difference table? Entries of the forward difference table and backward difference tables are same. Just write in place of del, uh, delta, we get the forward uh, difference table from backward difference table. Okay, so here we prepare the backward difference table, not the forward difference table. So example number three, this is the backward difference table because the value is at the end of the table. So uh, what is uh, the uh, forward uh, backward difference table? The first column are the entries. Uh, that are the values of x that is the first row as a first column right second row as a second column that is the values of y and then del, del y del square y del cube y del raised to 4y and then find uh, these entries so this minus this is at this place then this minus this at this place then this number minus this number at this place okay and this number minus this number at this place then again, del square y is what? This minus this is at this place. And this, this minus this is zero, and this minus this is minus point triple naught two. Then uh, del cube y, this minus this at this place, and this minus this at this place. And uh, then uh, del rest to four y is what? This minus this, so minus point not 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 four. So this is the table, and then write the uh, these two formulas to obtain the first order derivative and second order derivative by using backward difference formula. So dy by dx at x is equal to xn, that is the derivative at last point is 1 by h del y n, 1 by 2 del square y n, 1 by 3 del cube y n, 1 by 4 del raised to 4 y n, all terms are positive. Okay, so no need to write the further terms that is delta raised to 5, delta raised to 6. Uh, not delta, del, del raised to 5, del raised to 6, all other further uh, differences are 0. And then xn means last point is what? 2.04, that is we have to find the uh, derivative at the 2.04. So 2.04 is the what? xn. h is what? 0 0.02. If we observe the values of x, then what, are, what is the difference? That is 1.98 minus 1.96 or 2 minus 1.98, if we uh, find this uh, answer, then uh, uh, it is what? Point not 2 is h, then dy by dx at x is equal to 2.04, that is at the last point is what? This is 1 by h, that is point not 2, and del y n, del square y n, del cube y n, substitute all the values from table. So what are the del y n? This is the del y n, last value then del square y n. this is del cube y n. and this is del raised to 4 y n. that is the last point the last value and then substitute all these values we get the answer point minus point 0.1868 so this is the first order derivative at 
uh, no, at one point, this is the problem that is substitute all these values of this del y n del square y n del cube y n del rest to four y n at this place del y n del cube square y n del cube y n del rest to four y n we get this answer minus point four six three this is the first order derivative at the last point at the point two point not four then second order derivative so to find the second order derivative at x n we use this formula one by f square del square y n del plus del cube y n plus 11 by 12 del raised to 4 y n. So this is the formula uh, to find the derivative at the second order derivative at the last point. And then uh, d square y by d square at x is equal to 2.04 is what? 1 by, uh, 1 by 0.02 square that is x square. And then substitute the values of del square y n, del cube y n and del raised to 4 y n from the table. So if you observe the table, these are the del square y n, this is del q y n, and this is del raised to 4 y n at this place. And then answer is what? Minus 1.9. So this is the second order derivative at the point 2.04. So next example is what? Uh, find the first and second derivatives at x is equal to 1.5. And this 1.5 is at the in the table. So I am uh, at the end of the table. And so uh, use uh, uh, the backward difference formula. And that's why first prepare the backward difference table. So what is the backward difference table? Write the first column, uh, first row as the first column, second row, that is the values of y as a second column in the forward difference table. Then find del y, del square y, del cube y, del rest to four y. So find all these entries. And now these entries are important. We have to find the value at 1.5. So at 1.5, this is y n sub, uh, this is x n now. This uh, 2.0 is not x n. We consider only table at up to this. We consider table up to this. That is uh, either right here one line, dotted line, suppose. Then uh, what, is, what are the entries? These entries are important then. This is uh, xn, this is xn, and consider this 1.5 as a last point. Uh, then uh, this is uh, yn, and this is uh, del yn now, and this is del square yn, and this is del cube yn. Okay, so these values are important. And uh, that is where to find the first and second order derivative at 1.5. So this is uh, 1.5, this is the value correspond to 1.5. This is del y n. This is del square y n, del cube y n. Okay. So write the first backward difference uh, formula for uh, first order derivative dy by dx at x is equal to x n in one by h del y n, del square y n, del cube y n. So and then fourth difference is not for is not for x is equal to one point five. That is uh, no need to write the uh, fourth order difference term that is del raised to four y n term because the differences of the fourth order and further higher order are zero for this uh, example. What is the table? This is uh, y n. Now this is uh, x n. This is y n. This is del y n, del cube, uh, del y n, del square y n, this value and this value is del cube y n. So further differences are zero. And so write only term up to del cube y n. So this statement is what? Note, note fourth difference is not for x is equal to 1.5. That is uh, fourth difference, fifth difference, all the remaining differences are zero uh, for the point 1.5. So write the formula up to this del cube y n. Then x n is 1.5. Now consider this x n as a last point. When h is 0.5, if you observe the values of x, uh, then what is the common difference is 0 0.5. So this 0 to 0.5, 0 0.5 to 1, 1 to 1.5, this difference is what? 0 0.5. So h is 0 0.5. And then divide by the x at x is equal to 1.5 is what? 1 by h del y n. So what is this del y n? This is the del y n. Because this is x n now, this is uh, y n and this is del y n. This is del square y n and this is del cube y n. So substitute all these values del y n, del square y n, del q y n from table. And then we have the answer minus 0.1868. So this is the first order derivative 
at the point 1.5. This 1.5 is not the last point actually, but it is given in the table and it is at the end of the table. So consider this 1.5 as a last point and solve the example. That is use the same formula uh, that's used that are used to find the value at the last point. So this actually 1.5 is not last point of the uh, table or of the values of x, but consider this 1.5 as a last point. And you consider 1.5 as a xn. This is yn. Then this is delta del yn, del square yn, del cube y, and solve the problem. Similarly, the second order derivative, write the formula to find the second order derivative at last point. And it is one by f square del square y n plus del q y n. No need to write the further terms because del rest to four y n, del rest to five y n all are zero. Then x is 1.5, e h is again 0.5 and then substitute the values. And what is del square y n? So this is del square y n, this is del square y n because this is uh, considered as a last point del square y n and this is del cube y n. So substitute these values del square y n and del cube y n we get the answer 0.234. So this is the problem uh, that the point is not given in the table. Uh, point is given in the table, but it is at the, uh, not at the end of the, uh, it is not the last point of the value of x. It is uh, uh, at the end of the table, but it is not last value of the table. Uh, last value of x, last value of x is 2.0. And we have to find 1.5. So consider this 1.5 as a last point. Similarly, if the point is given in the table and it at the beginning of the table, that is first suppose we have to find the first order and second order derivative at 0 0.5. Then consider this 0 0.5 as a first point. So this is a, this is a, uh, y naught. That is this is x naught. This is y naught. This is a what? Del y uh, delta y naught. Actually, we have to use for, forward differentiable delta y naught, delta q y naught, and this is delta s2, uh, delta square y naught, this is delta q y naught, okay? So if you had to find the value, uh, so next in next lecture, uh, we will see uh, such a type of problem that is uh, the point is given in the table, but the point is not the first point of the value of x. And uh, the here is the problem that the point is given in the table, uh, but it is not the last value of x. So this, uh, these problems, this first problem is what? This first problem is what? The value is the uh, given in the table and it is the first value of x. And uh, this is the problem, second number problem, the value is at the beginning of the table, but not given in the table. This third problem is what? The value is the given in the table and it is last value of the table, uh, last value of x. And this uh, last problem of this lecture is what? This value is uh, uh, at the end of the table, given in the table, at the end of the table, but it is not the last value of x. It is not last, it is second last value of x. And if it is uh, the value of x uh, is given in the table, but it is not in the first value of x, then also we have to find the uh, first order and second order derivative, but such a types of problems we will see in the next lecture. So for solve these exercises. If we observe the first value, uh, first problem, then we have to find the first order and second order derivative at 1.5. That is, we have to prepare the forward difference table and use the forward difference formula. Then, uh, then second, next number problem is what? 2.03. This is the value uh, between 2.02 and 2.04, and the value is not given in the table, and it is at the end of the table. So, for second number problem. Uh, use the general formula of first order derivative and second order derivative. That is this formula. These are the formula. And the value, the derivative at a point not given in the table and at the end of the table. So for second number exercise, use these two formulas to obtain the uh, first order derivative and second order derivative at that point. Okay, that is find u and all such uh, values of del y n, del, del square y n, and all these. So for exercise number two, use the general formula because this value is not given in the table. This is not, this is in the range of the table, range of values of x, but this is not directly given in the table and it is at the end of the table. So use the general formula 
a first order derivative and second order derivative and uh, uh, find the first order derivative and second order derivative at this point 2.03 point that is where to you find u and h all these things and uh, prepare the backward difference table actually uh, for this example number 2 uh, prepare the backward difference table the, for the first example prepare the forward difference table then this value is at the center of the table where to find the value at uh, point 6 so prepare the forward difference table or backward difference table any met, uh, method uh, useful to this uh, so uh, my suggestion is that use the forward difference uh, formula so prepare forward difference table and consider this point 6 as a first point and solve the example and then find f dash 1 for fx is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square using the formula uh, using the following data so data is given actually the function is also given but uh, no need of uh, definition of function uh, just uh, we have to find the f dash 1 means the first order directive at 1 means at the first point so this is the four number problem is uh, similar to problem number 1 that we had to find the first order derivative at the first point at 1 that is we had to find dy by dx y means fx dy by dx at 1.0 and that is at 1 so f dash 1 means what we had to find the uh, value of first derivative at 1.0 that is at the first point so prepare the forward difference table for this problem and use the formula to obtain the first order derivative at the first point that is divided by the x at x is equal to x naught. So next number now five number problem we have to find the divided by dx and d square by a dx at uh, x is equal to 1.2. 1.2 is given in the table and it at the, uh, at the beginning of the table. So first pre uh, prepare the forward difference table for this problem and then consider this 1.2 as a first point that is x naught and and find the first order derivative and second order derivative. So uh, the next problem, six number problem, find the derivative of sec first order and second order at 1.1. Again, this is given in the table and at the beginning of table. So this problem, two problems methods are same. That is prepare forward difference table and use uh, 1.3, 1.1 as a first point. That is x naught. Then uh, next seven number problem dy by dx and d square by dx we have to find at x is equal to 50 so again this is the first point x is equal to 50 so prepare forward difference table and use the formula to obtain the derivative at dy by dx at x naught and d square y by dx at x is equal to x naught so these are the answers of uh, all these problems so solve all the exercise and you have any problem in solving the exercise uh, communicate me with whatsapp 